hey people, here's your governor with a message for you, and you should listen to it because it happened to me. But discrimination isn't always that obvious. Sometimes more subtle, but in many ways more insidious. An institutionalized discrimination that's hidden behind a smiling face. Je suis français. Mon nom est Philippe Edouardis. I'm French. I'm a French green card guy. My name is Dr. Philippe Edouardis. I'm a veteran and I'm a green card guy. Is that okay? Because the African Americans in the offices of those elected officials have been marginalizing immigrants and I'm about to prove it in court, and they even betrayed their own African Americans. Those are the facts, and those facts are irrefutable. Just a French green card guy. I just wanna fuck. 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 Yeah, she she takes it all. Right here on the 161st Street, across from the barber shop. Bro, I've been giving cigarettes away to black people in the neighborhood since I got here. I, that's the last one I got. I can't give you no more. What boy? What is this? I'm not filming you. Just put your voice on. Because no, no, no. I don't want nothing to do with you. No, all right then, what? Don't film me. I don't want to be on YouTube. You don't want to be on YouTube. I do not look like can, you on YouTube. Can I just say... Does I, it look I, like you on YouTube? Can I just say, Dreyce, we thought you were dead. That's it. Oh, fuck that's that. It. 
Fuck we, man, we're fucking with the politicians. Yeah, we thought. What? Yeah. They know my sir. We thought, do you see yourself there? We thought the man got you, man. <laughs> 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 Them motherfuckers Obama tried to kill my here. black ass. Obama gonna come here and so shoot your ass. Put that away. All right, put it away. We thought the man got you, Dreis. Yeah, fuck you, yo. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Phil Dreis and Robert Huntley. We're here with two homeless guys, but guess what? We haven't given up. We're not picking failures. We're people. We're human. Senator of Shirley Huntley. Uh, State Senator, New York State Senator Shirley Huntley. Oh, I love my mother and 113th of a crooked cop motherfucker that ruined my life. And, you know, and uh, a stink pussy fucking bitch. You know, along with that, you know, that uh, <clears throat> pretty much I loved her. She knew that. And I don't see how she cannot help me at this point in my life. Now my mother has pretty much not turned her full back on me, but has uh, let me have it, you know, really, you know, uh, to a sense that it's my fault that of my health condition, because I drove her into a nervous condition, and that's all bullshit. I love my mother from the bottom of my heart. I love Inspector, Deputy Inspector Tommy Lawless, who died, mommy's right-hand friend, NPD, and uh, Deputy uh, Inspector Philip Erickson. And, you know, I have let 113th and uh, 103 off the hook with uh, whatever I feel. Show them the bruises on you. They have ruined me. Show the bruises on you you got when you went over there and your brother beat you up. This is right here. This is State Senator Huntley's son, Robert Huntley. He was beat up by his brother, who's a, who's a New York NYPD, and told not to come back home again. That's, that's the kind, that's betrayal. That's treason. There's no sense for this. That's treason. But we're two homeless guys. <laughs> we're buddies. And I'm guess not, what? I'm not we're going to fight the I'm fight. I've been homeless for the last 20 motherfucking years where I thought I was like a white, black Jimi Hendrix. You know, where, you know, the guitar on my back and whatnot. But at this point in time, I'm 54 fucking years old. And this is bullshit. The and today's the, Sunday, today September Sunday. 26th. Yes, it is. And it's as far right as now May, 740. As far as Mayor Bloomberg is concerned, the New York Senate, the Congressional uh, Committee is all full of shit. Because me and this man have legitimate evidence and what have you. And I have sued PD and fucking won. But this is bullshit, goddammit. This is what the fuck it is, you know, goddammit. And, you know, through any righteousness through God, that sent his only begotten son down here when I, when to I, fuck with his denomination, his abomination of making this motherfucker and then turning his goddamn back on it. It's fucking bullshit. I, Why the I, hell did his only son begotten son have to come down here and fuck with this mm, and now, be tortured now, by, by goddamn fucking Before we run out, we run out of time, Robert. Now, when I gave you that fly, you saw your mother's name on it, you called her. Yes, I did. And then when you, when you spoke to her, and you asked her, was I the guy that supposedly put the death threat or anything crazy like no, that? No, you were not. No, Ma denied that. It was not Dr. Philip Dreyse. It was, it was somebody else. Fuck, I have who nothing had, to do with anything state, like who that. Who state police and a, a local 113th cop who held my hand one night. I was going to alcohol withdrawal. Another nice looking balding cop. Yeah. Uh, I, who I talked about like dogs, that precinct. But yeah, they did ruin my fucking life. Along with that stink fucking cunt hoe, Chantel uh, Hassad Dubois. And she is full of shit. You know? Now, when you spoke to her, did she knew about this case about New York City Housing Authority and all that nonsense with me? She knew about it. She knew about it 100%, but her aides were handling the case, at which point they did not let my mother in on what's happening. And now she's they, trapped. They intercepted. This man's legitimate interfuckingation by through eight, you know, like all politicians go. Not all politicians get their mails read and received by AIDS and do whatever the fuck they want with it. God damn it. And Kiss my fucking that. ass. Brother, we done here, man. I'm going to go ahead and go to my mom's house in Howard Beach, and my mom going to give me some money. I got my bedroll right here. Everybody can see. This is the bedroll. This is what I sleep on. Robert, 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 I swear to God, I got another. I want to bring that up on the internet. What do I, what, what? what um, it's, uh, it's on the fly I gave you. I got another one to give you. 
Here, take another flyer, but I can show you. We can sleep on the beach. I got another sleeping bag. I help you. Here, it's right here on the internet. Right here on this flyer, right here, brother. The way you was talking about so good about your mother until I heard her and I, until you and her started talking, that's not nice. Do you? Come on, man. The guy needs help. I was a drug and alcohol counselor. Jesus Christ. This guy needs help, folks. Today is June uh, 12, 2011. I'm going to have you listen to the, vi to the audio uh, voicemail of a detective calling from the Queens District Attorney's Office after they had tried for more than two, two and a half months trying to capture me and to orchestrate some fake death threat to the congressman and everybody's busted. This is showing you all the evidence that I've got. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go call my voicemail and um, let's see what happens. Okay. This is the district attorney's office. This is the district attorney's office and the congressman's office getting together trying to kill me. You have one unheard message. First unheard message. I don't want the unheard message. Message skipped. First skipped message. I hope it. I just want yeah, to my mother calling. Message skipped. First saved message. Philip Drive, Officer Officer from the NYPD. Please give me a call when you get a chance. 718-765-4333. Thank you. All right. He may be taking the hit for the district attorney's office as a sacrificial lamb. I can't let that happen. District attorney, you are busted, Mr. Brown. You have command responsibility for such a case to have gotten this far, this big. Undercover cops playing homeless in the library. Then you've got people going all over the Coliseum and the Coliseum Mall Street, door to door merchant, merchants showing them my, my picture. You are hunting you a Negro and you're trying to use Jim Crow laws to hunt you an immigrant on orders of the African American Congress. Congratulations, you're busted. Good morning. Today is Thursday, good Thursday, April 21st, 2011. I received a uh, call from the NYPD police, Detective Garcia, who wants to talk to me, which prompted this presentation and will be in multiple parts. I don't know how many yet. We're just going to go have to go with the numbers on that ticker over there. That's the time. I'd like to first of all start off with I'm this guy. In New York Newsday. That I went to a meeting. Tom Prater invited me to. Newsday was there. He saw Dr. Two, the Crusader, fell in love with the product. Front page, and uh, I believe it's the household leisure section, something like that. Now, I'm also that guy that worked for Mayor Bloomberg, volunteered for his third term, even though I testified against him at the third term hearings in order to get his attention and to stop my eviction. I'm also the guy that presented the evidence to the Attorney General. Oh, I'm sorry. He's governor now. Also, the guy who should be very angry because this is just one part of the four parts of documents I litigated that won me two landmark judgments and awards from Justice James J. Golia, New York State Supreme Court, 
Long Island City. Ida Smith, three of these are missing. Plus those two books to Mr. Juan Cuba at the White House. That's when this whole thing about get the police to get Philip Dry started with Sophia King. Remember? You stopped that. You should have stopped yourself this time when you figured out I would expose you too, school teacher. Thanks for this one, Ida. It's intact. <laughs> One, two, landmark awards and judgment, uh, judgments and uh, orders. And I litigated all the way at the appellate division of New York State Supreme Court, and this is a meritorious cause of action to implead Mayor Bloomberg, the police department, the Queens District Attorney's Office, and Human Resources. And following documents, we'll show you that. And these are the documents. That's the mayor. You see that stamp right there? That's the mayor. That's the police department, NYPD. The Human Resource Administration for playing me for crazy like Ida Smith did. And New York City Housing Authority in which I had to go back and do it to New York City Housing Authority at New York City Housing Authority because the controller won't accept claim against, claims against them because that is federal dollars. And you people need to understand what the law is, how it works, and what the process is. But I did hear from Tom Crater, ask, acquiesced, Trice, when I got the sir reply, no, no, when I got the, um, the transcript of the trial in Supreme Court where I beat Byron Medigakis so bad before he left the courtroom, he said, I'm going to appeal. And then I taunted them and played with them. Right when they got out the courthouse, right around the fountain in Long Island City. I can. Those are trophies for my, as my rewards. When I do this, people, I ain't got no wife. I ain't got no kids. Ain't too many people give a damn about me. I'm an ugly guy who can accept my life, my fate as it is. I am kind. I am benevolent. I am generous. And y'all turned that against me. And those are you black staffers in the offices of black elected officials. And you guys are so rotten, you make it a freaking embarrassment to be black in America. Because you were supposed to stop this when you saw it. This is a sir reply that you have a Judge Maria Rezos in Queens County Civil Court plagiarizing plagiarizing perjuries in the sur reply index number 162-18-2005. Right here. Just an absolute embarrassment. This right here is the transcript of the trial. Right here. In February 2009, the General Counsel of Policy was there and he committed perjury in his transcript. That's why we have to go to federal court. This is the case that got washed out. And there you go, right there, you got to see Mayor Bloomberg's name. Bingo. All covered up and contained. This is big news. This is big news. And I depended on this guy to fix it because I put it in his hands at the St. Albans VA Auditorium close to four or five years ago. That's how I end up getting the hand of Ida Smith. These are the letters that this woman's got me writing to this guy, kissing his behind, and it was an exercise in futility. 
what she conducted, she was part of an orchestration to obstruct justice on the allegations. Oh, winds of change. I did a political accountability documentary that aired on TV campaigning for this guy. This is a letter asking him for a meeting. At the end of the day, we know that my attorney sent this to the elder abuse unit about this lady right here that got embezzled out of $20,858 and what it was earmarked to allow her to destroy herself in order to contain it. And when you steal that much money from somebody, $20,858, and you leave them in their apartment with the gas stove on, that's a Nazi copycat crime. I've been doing my activism and I do it very nicely, thank you, with my two documentaries that aired on TV. Scared every politician in town because they never seen one man do so much all by himself. That's because I'm not touching your little heifers. I put this all over town. Call your congress and ask him, how did he cover this up? You're a black guy, you're a congressman, and you got a Native American female acting as a congressman with the kind of power with it that she rules with impunity, playing everybody's mama. Well, guess what? Fooled you, didn't I? I don't need no mama. You're embarrassed. You're humiliated. That's why you called the police and filed a false police report. I ain't no threat to you, I I wouldn't harm anything on you. But I have to destroy the myth of you being so honest. You have no integrity. You have no integrity. You're a liar. You're a sneak. You're like a, you're like a, you're, you're like a cobra. You're that slithery. And Jason Hilliard said, you're mad because I attacked you by the preponderance of the evidence that I blasted over the internet. And your credibility destroyed Leave the congressman with no more shield, no more sword. He's now no longer invincible. That's what I want. By proving to everybody, he covered this up. And they gave the white boy who did it a promotion. <laughs> Ida Smith hooked that up. I swear on my mother's grave because she spoke to the VA police that covered it up. She, uh, 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 with the union, she was the head boss because it was the congressman's office and his power. The myth of his power because he's a powerless bastard that couldn't get me to stay in the ghetto so I can help these people. That's what I did with my life. You destroyed this. You killed him. You killed him. You killed him. And the evidence also says that the guy you endorsed and campaigned for, you knew. And I think now that I'm realizing it, it looks like me reporting on my activities for him to your Ida Smith and your office was illegal, Congressman Meeks. Can we talk about what else you covered up, which is the retaliation, the guy who saved that old lady and protected her and brought to how she was embezzled and everything that was done wrong to her? Did you see her in the nursing home, Congressman? But we've got, as we've got the Veterans Administration washing their hands of any liability, any culpability, any anything, because they handed me a deck of cards. We had them for Saddam Hussein and everybody in Iraq, remember? Well, the VA knows all about it, 
and they gave me a deck of cards. And it's got the name of every politician in town. State Senator Malcolm Smith. State Senator Shirley Huntley. Congressman Gregory W. Meeks. Assemblywoman Vivian Cook. Councilman Leroy Comrie with your Rand Huff, who hates me, hates Haitians, because he was the first one to get the evidence, and he went to NYCHA, it is alleged, and that's how your case, NYCHA ended up coming after me, because I went to you first before I went to the Inspector General of NYCHA, and they was already waiting for me, ambushed. I want time to, pre to prepare my book. That's why I'm leaving. I wrote a letter to the White House and this is when all the trouble began. When I got this from the Justice Department, which is a White House referral number. Uh, where is it? WH White House 0714201. That's my White House referral number. All I asked those politicians, which I just named, look, you've been getting this information on the internet, dropping it off to your house, I'm in your functions, you got me using me to go get this guy, Heidi Smith. You're the one that told me for me to go get Malcolm Smith, and you can't pass a lie detector when you told me that he's the one that snitched on the congressman and all that stuff. And the attorney general washed his hands of it because there were boys in the Clinton administration. There was a conflict of interest and he sent it to the feds. And now the new attorney general has sent me something from the Integrity Bureau. So at the end of the day, to round it off in this 15 minutes on YouTube is that you are busted. Because I'm taking your butts to court and hear your name right there. They've been sitting there for six months. I don't have anything else to say. I'm not. What am I going to tell you? Other than I'm filing a notice of claim in order for me to get $75,000 because I blasted all over the internet that I'm the one who put up the Thompson pictures. So give me a break and quit you guys. Quit your lying. Have a nice day. Bye.